In this quick start video, I will show you how to import a DXF drawing in RouteCAD. DXF stands for Data Interchange Format. It is a format that uh, several uh, software use and many uh, drawings have been created in this format. So it is quite useful to be able to import the DXF drawing, work on it, modify it, and uh, route it to create the object that we wish. So let's see how it's done. We go to File, Import DXF, and we select the DXF drawing that we want. Now, we have a warning message. There is no measurement header variable in your DXF file. The current route card units have been used to import your DXF file. If your drawing is out of proportion, change the route card unit and try importing again. You may have to zoom out several times to put your drawing in focus. All DXF entities have been assigned the current route card depth of cut and drill diameter. This message is very explicit. Because the drawing we've imported do not have this uh, measurement variable, RouteCAD simply imported the drawing as an imperial inch drawing. Well, we have to understand that if the software that created your DXF file do not put the measurement variable in, the, in, your, in your drawing, there is no way for any other software to know if your drawing was created in millimeter, meaning metric, or in inches and plural. So RouteCAD doesn't know this because this information is not in your drawing. So RouteCAD assumes that your drawing was created in the unit that you're currently in. And that's how the drawing was imported. The second thing is that we do not see anything on the canvas. And the reason why is, last part of the message was saying that we may have to zoom out several times to put the drawing in focus. So we'll do just that. To zoom out, we press Ctrl Alt O. We zoom out once. We press Ctrl Alt O again. And we do it again. And now we begin to see something. We'll do it one more time. And here we have it. So the drawing is quite huge. These letters are quite huge because if we, if we look at the size of the work area, it's a, it's a 22 centimeter, it's a 22 inch by 15 inch work area, and these letters are, are very big. So it perhaps those letters were not were not meant to be that big when they were originally created. But again, because when this the software who created this letter did not put the measurement variable in the file, uh, RouteCAD assumed that these letters were created in, in, in uh, Imperial. Now let's change to metric and we'll try importing the same file again and see what happens. We're going to zoom, we're going to reset the zoom by doing Control R, Add R. Now we're reset to our original size. And we we'll import again. We we'll do file, import the XF, and we we'll try importing the same file again. Now we see the same message as before, except that this time the letters are in focus, and perhaps those were the original size of the letter that you know it was meant to be that size when they were created. So we have to we have to. Uh, pay attention to that when we import the DXF file and we get such, such a message. Uh, we need to, to to try to change the unit and then figure out if uh, the drawing is correct. 
Now we'll try to import another drawing. We we'll go to File, Import DXF, and we're going to select another drawing to import. This time the message is shorter because uh, the measurement variable was uh, in that drawing, so RouteCAD knew how to import it properly, but we still get the other message that we may have to zoom out several times to put the drawing in focus. We click OK, but we can see the drawing is right there, so we don't have to zoom out so much. Uh, maybe only once we'll zoom out Control Alt O, and then we'll do Control Alt W to zoom out in a, in a window, to zoom a window, and this is the drawing that, the DXF drawing that was important. And also, if we click the middle mouse button on that, on one uh, object of that drawing, we can see the depth of cut that, uh, that is there, the drill size. Now, if we go to the machine menu, we see that it is the same depth of cut and uh, the same drill side and the same depth of cut that uh, is currently, that is the depth that is currently set in RouteCAD. So basically what RouteCAD does is when you import a DXF drawing, it, it basically uh, assign the current depth of cut and drill size to all the objects that you have imported.